So the angels end up creating these abominations. We don't really know exactly what they made, but we know that they were mixing and matching different genes from different animals and creating these abominations. All DNA is now corrupted because of angels. Now, obviously God was not happy. He proceeds to destroy everything in a worldwide flood. And whether you believe in the Bible or not, a cataclysmic flood did happen. That's a fact. The evidence is literally overwhelming. Now, I've got such a curious question. It says in the Dead Sea Scrolls that they took 200 animals from all species for crossbreeding or whatever. I mean, I would imagine that that would include fish too, right? Marine life? Marine life which doesn't die in a flood? Let me take you on a trip to the deepest depths of the ocean. We still have yet to discover 91% of ocean life. There are fish living so deep in the ocean that we couldn't even get to them. And it only gets weirder and weirder the deeper you go. Now, in Leviticus, Moses literally says that fish in the sea that do not have fins or scales are an abomination to you. An abomination. Just like what the fallen angels had created. And that, my friends, is why we have things like this.